Good evening, everybody. This is the International Overwatch League Miners Season 6, a reschedule, actually, from Week 4 between both Tier 2 teams, Rebel Raptors and Surge Imperium. I am the light of your life. Light, co-hosting with me tonight is... Super Rondo Uno, the best damn Lucio you've ever seen. Thanks for joining me. I, I know this was like kind of last minute for us to hop in here, but I'm glad we got to like sneak our way in. Yeah, definitely. You know, last minute for us, and obviously, you know, last minute for them. Seeing as regular season, we're sitting at week eight. Obviously, this is a like you mentioned, it's a week four reschedule due to some broken rules which happened in their prior matchup. So, gonna correct things, and now we get a true winner. I know. I, I heard you have a little bit of insider info. You played for one of these teams for a short minute. Is is there anybody we should we should be looking out for? Yeah. So I, ironically enough, I was actually in the game which they're rescheduling, playing for Surge. So I'm well familiar with them. Definitely the person to watch out for is gonna be Pressure. Bounces around all over the place. I was presuming they're gonna put him on DPS tonight. Uh, he, honestly, he plays a wide variety of characters. I guess I would say his strong suit is probably hit scan. Be on the lookout for that if they put him on DPS. But I would say that's the name to watch for sure. Okay, awesome. And then, do you have like any advice going into this first map? This isn't our first cast this week, but we've probably you know gleaned some um you know do's and do nots. So do you have any thoughts about that? Let's see, like, coming into Li Zhang Tower, I think obviously the main do here is stay together. We've seen, we obviously, you and I have cast enough times. We, we've seen teams split up, try to get into these 1v1 fights, which turn into like a 2v5. You get, you get picked off one by one. You know, and even, I think even the last game we casted, which was, I believe, a tier one game between the first and second place, I, I think it was. Was it Salvation? I believe it was Salvation. You know, they just kind of, we spoke, absolutely just dominated in terms of group group unite, picking off 1v1. So more than anything, the core of this is going to be who sticks together and who win, who picks off first and wins a team fight. I agree. I'm looking forward to some Symmetra play, as always. But... Both teams are ready. I think we're ready. So this is map one, Li Zhang Tower. Now arriving at Li Zhang Tower. Initiate Hopefully my third eye is on today. I do want that semester desperately. Let's see what. Ooh, Jester pulling out a Farah. Not a bad pick. Oh, yeah, I guess one thing I forgot to mention in the pregame. So, a unique thing about the Sur about Surge Imperium every single person on that roster is flex. Oh, wow. So they, really? Yeah. Everyone is a flex. So, again, the lineup you see now, the second map, it could be complete overhaul. What? You know I love keeping track of when they swap around, but that's so good to know that there's a lot of flexibility coming out of Surge. Speaking of flexibility, you know, there's your Symmetra pick that you've been wanting for, which Geography, as we've learned, a brand new addition to this team, last minute approved. Yeah, coming in real hot. Looks like they're... You know, playing their um, point well. They have the sim turrets up on the wall. They're just letting them walk in one by one. And, you know, it's working for them. They're going to claim first point. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that, that's just an absolute beautiful clean sleep of grabbing the point. But, as we've said always, now it's a race to 99. I feel like this part is the most tedious. Because once you get about halfway, you got to start setting up for success. Here, you can kind of make some choices. There's still a little bit of a way to go, but you got to think fast. Uh, Charbot going for the boop doesn't happen. Denied. Yeah, Engineer Boy though, getting in some direct hits. We got 
a little bit of a decent Ryan fight going on. I think it's gonna eat an extra hit. Yeah, it's gonna be junk crap spam, unfortunately. Yeah, and this is exactly what I'm talking about now. Rebel doing it. The people are so concerned with trying to, you know, pick up triple kills or quad quad kills. It, 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 it's a slow but it's a slow but sure pace. Pick them off one by one, and you slowly kick, take control. Ooh, bomb coming out to save themselves. Doesn't find anybody, but does get the fresh remake buying some time. You know, and speaking of pick them up one by one, I guess that's the ultimate Achilles heel of that. If you don't do it fast enough, you allow defense to recoup and get back. That surge is done beautifully. Now they've regained control and sitting at 77. Rebel's gonna be down and maybe only one more good push here. Yeah, Phoenix coming in hot with a shatter of his own, but not quite enough follow up for it to be super valuable. But it still is just a little bit of poking going, and Thimbo oh, gets a pin. Back tap, maybe. If they are confident, Rainbow Shark pulling some blood out there, they might be able to get back in there. About 99 on the clock. Hello there. Ooh, Surge holds it, but that was dangerous. Very close to a C9 there. I know, I didn't even like see that they had eked their way around the back really quietly. Genius, though. We do see Phoenix introducing a Winston though instead of a Reinhardt. It looks like they're doing like a bit of a dot mixed dive situation. Or full dive? Mixed dive. Sometimes I feel like I know, sometimes I feel like I don't know. Looks like both teams let in to go for Sim now. That's exactly what I feel like we deserve. Um, both Sims setting up on point but slowly dragging each other. We do see uh, Rainbow Shark just kind of on the other side of the wall across from Geography. But they're just not able to get down there. Geography is like cooking them on this Sim. Instead of uh, Symmetra, we see Rainbow Shark switch over to May. A little terrain change might end up working a little bit better for them. They might be happier. I've, I've got to say, it's obviously it's been a while since I've seen Surge play. It's been a while since I've been on their team. But it, this is a completely different unit. I'm seeing much improved gameplay than I did from my time with them and the last time I cast them, which I believe was only week six. Yeah, coming in a little bit sharper because we're only on week eight, even though this is a reschedule, so that's really not that long ago. Like, significant improvement over time, that's that's a huge deal. Yeah, I, I, again, I have nothing but praise here. I'm seeing much more organization, clearly deciding to pick, pick targets one by one. Again, the slow but sturdy pace of it. Woo, huge tire. Ooh. Momentum, momentum, momentum. Rebel with a quick three taken out. And it seems like Lulu is left. Uh, followed up by Geography, who is back. Winston right on top of that, played by Phoenix, pushing her back. Okay, and while 84% is a decent chunk, we've seen teams, like, rip it back from just even 1% and turning it in their favor. So, it looks like 
if, you know, they can hold here pretty well, Rebel Raptors just keeps kind of this, the way they're doing it, they're probably going to end up taking this map. 32%. Yeah, I can agree with that. What's going to be important here is ult management. And obviously, Jester's got another tire. Maze essentially got her ult. Oh, also sitting on a B. So you've got ult advantage. You obviously, you're still behind in the numbers. But how and when you choose to execute those are going to be huge. Yeah, I see. I took a look at Jester. And Jester's kind of deciding on best placement for them. Just kind of checking the optics. We do have a trapped run, thanks to May as well. I love that beat there by Queenie. It essentially just cancels out the soldier ult. Yeah, coming in hot, Lulu does run over Thimbo, but ooh, a pin oh, also takes out Rainbow Shark. So we do have Surge coming back in here. Just you know, about a couple more seconds on the clock to kind of clean this up, but that tire is coming. Oh, huge pick on the on the support character, but. This clock is ticking. Someone's got to touch. Jester is on, making it happen. Engineer goes down. We also do have Moyer played by Hexboy on the point as well. May ult comes in. They're going to probably snatch this back. Oh, they've, they've definitely got the numbers game. They've got a good chance here. Question is, is Surge going to give it up and just regroup, or are they going to not allow it to happen? Ooh, decent cleanup. Hopefully, if they were going to kind of chase Lulu down and get that last pick, but it looks like Lulu's going to make it out. What do we have? Well, Lulu has bomb. That's kind of their, their win condition here. Yeah, they're going to, and they're going to have to go with it pretty soon. And at Especially this point, since there's, there's no defensive ult on the other side, you probably got to even just use it as a decoy. We have a tire coming. Oh! Oh, and don't even touch. Lulu went for the health pack, but she... I... Okay, so just a little piece right there. She had bomb, okay? She was 40 health. You do not need to be full to throw that. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta remember that the bomb is essentially a free life. Right, it exists on its own. I wish she had just chucked it in. She was in the perfect position to kind of just launch it towards point, but I think she wanted to do maybe a little bit more brawling and for the health pack instead, but it ate up those just last couple of free seconds. Yeah, you know, when you're sitting at 95 plus percent, you know, as I mentioned before, it, the bomb can be an asset, it's just a decoy, because no, mat no matter what, it's going to force them to spread. Ooh. Oh, what a beautiful double by Sharbot. You know I love a good Lucio boot. And a double, and a, th and a third! Sharbot taking half the team out. Yeah, Queenie trying to wall ride, trying to wall ride and recover, but not able to hold off. That's a beautiful quick cap by Surge there. Time to read my APM. All right, so we have some general kind of options about who's going where. We have some side and mid play, but I would like to see them group up just a tiny bit, especially since this Symmetra is just really trying to get her hands on Phoenix on the right side of the point, followed by a Moira, which could be helpful, but her reach is long and everlasting. You know, and Surge and employing the Symmetra strat, which you have wanted all along. Because as I've always said, you know, when you play Torb, the turret's an extra member. But when, I mean, when you play Symmetra, I, I guess you've got to assume that her turrets are extra team members as well. Oh, <laughs> and another three members of their team. Yeah, decent ultimate stack going on for Surge right now. Jester taking out that Sim Teleporter. Does have Tire in hand, so they're not going to be able to rush back here after that Tire gets pulled. Well, here it comes. Oh! Oof. 
And Jester takes out four entirely. Quagsire kind of getting that free swing in, but I think they're going to be able to push pretty comfortably here. I don't think Qu Quagsire is going to be able to get back in. Does pin Zarya on the way out? Gotta be very good. I'm very concerned for Rebel. That that that's an absolute. I'm sorry, but that's an absolute waste of four picks there. Yeah, like four really great potential. And, and... Wow. Surge Imperium takes map one. I mean, I don't know. I'm not. I'm obviously. I'm. I'm not trying to take away credit, but. Is that a moment where Surge won it or Rebel lost it? Considering that Jester took out more than a third of the team, I think there could have been some better choices made. You know, considering that he, he did a lot of the heavy lifting during those fights and it, they just weren't able to capitalize. Yeah, I've got to say that. La that last series has me at a loss. I, 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 with you, I, you, t you take out four, and no cap. You know, sometimes just the math, just don't be mathing. I guess so, but hey, map one goes to Surge Imperium. They're gonna sport a 1-0 lead. I, I'm glad that there was some push and pull between both teams. I kind of... How do I say this without sounding like a maniac? I want like a little bit of struggle. I enjoy like watching teams like perform like to the best of their abilities, really kind of ring fighting for that extra time. And so I think we got that out of Li Zhang Tower, but I'm hoping Blizzard World, there's a lot more freedom for aerial space. So I hope to see them pick that far back up. Yeah, you know, more space, more mobility, obviously. It's just, it's easy imitation to play in the skies i mean even if it's not a far you know maybe an echo we have i don't think we've seen an echo much play overall at least in this tier i don't know i think because what was our last what was the thing we didn't really see last season was it ball i'm trying to remember we had all definitely mentioned it at least once in a cast I think down here we don't see a lot of ball just because he's kind of like a high difficulty player and I'm speaking from my own personal trying to learn that thing my hands don't do the coordination that be doing for the ball to be working so I just don't um <laughs> maybe other players feel that way I believe Starfield belongs to Surge Ooh. Bringing in one player. Okay, cool. I wonder if they will make any swaps bringing stars into the fold or will they kind of sit on their roster? It's still pretty early. They might be feeling a little comfortable considering how that last round went, but they didn't quite sh sweep that. So they're going to have to kind of consider going into Blizzard World what sort of changes that they can and can't make. But you mentioned that they're all flex, so really they could, they could do a lot of different things. Yeah, exactly. As mentioned, they are all flex, but I guess the flip, the I guess the caveat of that is, they're all, I guess they all peak at support, but they can all flex. So. Huh. Okay, so Engineer Boy says ready in the chat. I couldn't tell if he's trying to write great round or if he just wrote R before writing great round. So I'm just we're confirming that we're making sure that both teams are ready to go to map two. Um, and if you're just joining us, this is a rematch map, or not a rematch. My words, not doing the word thing. Rescheduling of a week four game during week eight. So if you're like, why are these maps wrong? They're not. This is a reschedule. Okay, so Rebels is switching Phoenix and Jester, assuming that they have deep 
set up as tank DPS support. That means Jester is moving from DPS to tank and Phoenix is replacing him on the DPS line. Yes, and that's confirmed. Phoenix will be playing DPS and Jester will, Jester will be switching to tank. Interesting decision there because I, I mean, we, we saw in the first map, Jester seemed to be absolutely killing it in the DPS role purely as Junkrat, so I don't know. All right, both teams are ready. I'm just going to double check. I think we are ready to go here. I'm wondering what the what can Jester do on tank that Phoenix couldn't. Not maybe couldn't is not the word that I want to use, but specialty? What specialty does Jester bring to their tank line? Well, I I've, I've had one theory that Roadhog isn't a tank. He's just a fat DPS. Maybe that's the move. Oh, I spoke too soon. We do have some swapping going on. We have Geography going up to Tank, replacing Lulu. Lulu will be joining Engineer on DPS. And we will have Charbot and Pressure pulling up the support line. So... Some choices being made. And you know, just doing some investigation, Jester's second most played tank is Roadhog. There goes your fat DPS theory. <laughs> There's my fat DPS theory. Here we okay, so now we have some, some things to consider. Because we won't be really doing environmentals here. Even though it could happen, we're, nobody's ever usually playing close enough. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, let's check the lobby. Oh, somebody has left Quakesire. Okay, sending everybody back so we can double check on what is going on. Looks like a basic just disconnect. Man, I was playing online with a friend earlier, and he ended up, like, we were queuing for a game, he DCs, and then he comes back and he DCs again, like, almost right away. And I thought that happened to a couple friends today. I'm like, is this, is this, is, like, the Russians? Are we finally getting DDoSed? I hope that wasn't calm. Thankfully, he DC'd before the match started, because right when he had, like, sent me that message, he was like, oh my god, did you find a game already? And I'm like, yeah, like, where the heck are you at? He's like, I DC'd. Like, oh my goodness. And then he tried to get back on while I was in the middle of the game, so like, oh, I'll just pick you up afterwards. He DC'd again, and he's like, I'm just not gonna get on right now. That's all bad. I hope he didn't get hit with the cheese and lost to DSR, plus the Honestly, timeout. This, the way that this game is set up should have like a, hey, I purposefully didn't leave. This is Al Gore's internet, and I'm having a problem. <laughs> yeah, ironically enough, before we came to cast this game, my online comp game got down to a 4v3, because I guess people kept disconnecting or quitting. Let's hope that Quakes are on the second invite. We'll be able to get back in. We get the magical spinny wheel. Hoping it works. Because, you know, Blizzard World is not a bad hybrid map. Looks like he's in. Alright. I'm just gonna make sure that their VC is all set up. Oh, never mind. We get a ready. I'm a ready the map. Welcome to Blizzard World. Initiating the match. Oh. 
Alright, let's see what we get. Let's see if that Roadhog, you know, wink wink is gonna go off. Ready for battle. Monkey! Mo, Winston. Now I'm curious. And he's he's leaving spawn spawn as as Winston. So this is this is a full commitment to our Ryan Winston setup. Yeah, and you know, granted, I I did a quick scale over of his last two seasons on comp. Ryan was number one, and Hog was two in terms of his tank hours. I didn't see much Winston on there, so now I'm extremely curious. This is that surprise. Oh, it's Engineer Boy throws up the quick sim TP, getting those people over to the left room real quick, switching over to Soldier. Yeah, I'm a little worried because Jester's kind of coming down alone from the high ground, doing a bit of poking. Thankfully he gets back, but I don't know if that'll be a sustainable, you know, option for them. Yeah, you know, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm re extremely surprised that he didn't go with the hog. I felt that was second nature with the way you've seen his play style. Ooh, Quakesire does go down, unfortunately. Ooh, and Nano coming out of well, Queenie for Rebel Raptors! Might have been a little wasted there. End of the end of the fight. I, you know, I'm a big fan. Not my personal choice, but I, I've done some insurance support things before, just to make sure. Hey, just be, just play devil's advocate. I fat fingered as well, so <laughs> it's like the only way, right? Like sometimes, just like okay, just so make sure nobody does. That's and you know, supports they work so hard on building their ultimates anyway. As long as somebody's dying, they're gonna get it. Right? You know, like the the ultimate catch twenty two. You've got to take damage in order to build my ults. You got a Ryan v Ryan battle on the point. Ooh, Ooh, hammer, hammer. We had a Uno reverse no you moment between Thimbo and Quack and Quicksire just now. Pressure not wanting to get poked in the eye jumps off the back for that full team reset as well. You know, now Jester sitting on his ult. Maybe this is why he chose the Winston. I'm interested in that Lulu switches over from, sorry, like the Junkrat to the Echo, so now I'm kind of like, what's about to be, what's about to be going on, because we have that Torb. Oh, and Risky Rez, but pulled off by Hexboy. Absolute oh. shutdown here by Rebel. Three minutes gone, about a minute left on the clock. They're gonna have one, maybe two pushes, or one push and a very long fight ahead of them. Now, here's the funny thing about Surge, and I can speak about this from personal experience. The, the last fight, they just flip a switch and turn it on. I don't know what it is, and it might even just be purely this map. Ooh! Denied. Jester eats a little bit of Geography's bomb, but they're stabilizing here thanks to Rainbow Shark. Yeah, now Surge is gonna have time for a group up, but they're gonna have to go and go quickly. We do have Shark like, hammer, uh, hammer and Beat could be a nice combo if he's right. Charbot's gonna have to be the Lucio of the evening, and you're gonna have to get there. They're speeded there, hit the beat, and they're gonna have to just get there, have the fight over there. They don't have any time to waste. Well, then there's the beat. 
Oh, nice boop on the Bob. He sends him flying off the point. We do have Thimbo getting in some free swings pressure, trying to buy time on that more about the ante. It's going to be a little too much. On a solid hold by Rebel there. I'm glad to see that at least over on Surge, they were kind of cycling through like what did and didn't work. We see like the Symmetra come with the fast teleporter and engineer switch over switches over to Soldier. We do see Lulu go from Junkrat to Echo, and then Quakesire. We all, you know, you always kind of need a run, so nothing to cycle there. But they kept trying to like piece together like what would best fit around their comp. So I appreciate that they're making um huge changes. Yeah, you know, and as like I mentioned, they, they're a very flexible team. Everyone plays multiple characters, and they're not, they're not afraid or and definitely not offended if they're asked to switch. See, that's the core of a good team right there. Oh, and look, here's your, here's your favorite desperation move. I don't care. I don't care if it's cheese. I like it. I think it's funny. <laughs> I know, I know it's a cheese. <laughs> but it's like, how could you not? You know, if you gotta buy some time. No, you know? and they're going full toxic. They've also got this sim. This is like, ex this is typically exactly what you usually ask for. Honestly, if I knew I had to grind down time and somebody, you know, I'll mentally suggest and if they do it, I mean, who, who am I to judge? You know, Mercy Blue Beam, obviously they're going to build up the BAP ult for the window. And, and they're pretty smart here. Choosing to hold point, they're going to be able to kind of have a fight in a contained space and have some coverage as they walk onto the point. So it'll be kind of good for them to kind of just bunker down in that covered spot. And then as they come in, just kind of rip them one by one. Yeah, like Jester's in. Like exactly. But I mean, playing Devil's Advocate, giving up that much ground, knowing they only need one tick, you lose one fight, you're essentially conceding. It's a lot, yeah, especially because spawn isn't very close, but they do have the advantage of Lulu, who set up a TP, hopefully giving them some extra time to get from point A to point B. But it, it is kind of a big ask. It looks like they are going to go high ground. Diva was up there earlier, kind of just maintaining some of that space, but I think Phoenix is trying to figure out how to get underneath here and behind them. They are walking past the teleporter. Yep, going around the back. Oh, and that's such a risky res. Risky res of the day coming out of Hexboy for Thimbo in the back line, basically. Engineer, however, getting covered by Sim and Arisa. Rainbow Shark getting a little dragged by Symmetra turrets here. Slow roasting. Now, obviously, as casters, we're, we're supposed to stay neutral. And, you know, naturally, I've got no dog in this fight, but I've got to show a little pride here for Surge because I see Engineer Boy doing exactly something that I've essentially coached him on back when I was on their team when you're going to play Bastion. And that's that you have to you have to move places every single fight. Exactly. You can't, you know, you got to... You get to give them the surprise card, because once they start learning out where you are, they're going to just jump that spot every time. So the fact that he's rotating and kind of making it a search for them is, you know, a little scary. Yeah, like, I'm feeling a little pride here, because again, when I was playing with them, he, you know, he would stick one spot, stay there like a statue. And it, it would definitely not work. So the fact that he's showing, obviously, growth in his overwatch game, you've got to love that. Woo! Huge shatter. Dude, Shatter, here comes a tire from Rainbow. Oh, Hexboy. Oh, how about the Diva Bomb instead? Yeah, my guy. Hexboy is going for one of those risky reses, and the bomb was just behind, and they couldn't cancel the res. Got a little stuck. Get on the point! Okay, thank you. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't scream. Dangerous. 
It's sometimes it's tough, you know just that like casual like couple of like two feet off the point like just to double check your spaces and he was just standing right there and that's how sometimes like the C9s go that was that was a little scary. Yeah, you know, it's similar to the one we almost saw back on Li Jang Tower. Ugh, makes me nauseous to think about it. But what ultimates do we have to work with? Oh, we got Arisa! Oh, oh, we, got a, we got a Bongo. Valkyrie could get there. Wall could get there. Shot clock cheese for Rebel gets them a W. I'm telling you, the introduction of that Ana, that, once that anti had landed from Queenie just so nicely on the team, they got kind of just like melted away, just one by one by one by one. And a clean sweep on the cards while they're at it. Is that what you call a? What's it called in poker when like you have the same of like a like an entire suit? Is that a full house? That is a flush. Clearly, I don't play poker, y'all. Um, it's what he said. <laughs> All right, so Rebel Raptors getting on the board. Indeed, a tied up. We're looking at one one. Okay, well, while I go and do some poking around on swap, what do you like here? Do you have like a? Usually, I feel like by now we get kind of like a feel, but they're so like evenly matched. I'm kind of like, hmm, I don't, I don't know if I got anything. Yeah, it, it, it's tough, and obviously. Again, you know, it, it's a it's a rematch game. So both teams are kind of aware of what the other side has to present. Now, obviously, as we were talking off stream, we know for the bulk of the season that Rebel has had to grab a ringer. So I believe I pre I want to pretty sure I want to say Jester might actually be the ringer because I don't he does not ring a bell in terms of his gamer tag. But on, on the surge side, it definitely went my, my time over there. You know, when it was announced that the game was going to get rescheduled because of the rules violation, uh, they were pissed, obviously, because it was definitely a winnable game. So no doubt they were more motivated coming into this one. Because also, you know, let, let's get to the narrative of it. Surge being a brand new team to the league still has not yet achieved a victory. So while this is a battle of 6th and 7th place, Surge is still playing for that illustrious number one win. I hear you. But we do have some um, swaps coming back in. Phoenix and Gesture once again are switching places. We are moving the Junkrat King back to his rightful place. Um, and Phoenix also back to the tank line. So they're they're probably looking for, you know, honestly, if he's going to play Junkrat, those little nooks and crannies on Dorados where Junkrat's hide, this might be a good place for him. Oh, yeah, you know, Dorado kind of just screams Junkrat map. Not, not, to, not to mention, again, you know, pure payload. So forever movement, very mobile character. But... Oh, I can't remember. I want to say I think Engineer Boy might be the far expertise. That might be the move if Jester's back on Junkrat. Honestly, that would be very interesting to guess. I kind of do want to see that. And oh, we get a comment Ooh. highlight in Rondo looks from like, about looks four. Looks like B. they just got. Oh, good. No. Looks about... like they just got Luna. Luna is the Mercy Queen on Surge. Let's do that. I want to see it. I want to witness it. 
Rebel Raptor says that they are ready. But we did get a comment from our favorite player yesterday. Did we cast yesterday? Day before yesterday? Yes, we did. About 4B says hi. Hi, about 4Bs. I think based on yesterday's gameplay, you were probably about 6Bs at minimum. About 4Bs, about 6 kills. Honestly, the way that that, that that was going on the soldier, I mean, it was a little sweaty. Yeah, I mean, and then whatever he didn't kill, Strobel did. We have an update on the B count. He says 20 Bs. <laughs> Noted. Corrected. Won't forget it. All right, we have some swapping around going on for Surge. We have Char and Lulu both moving from support and DPS up to the tank line. That flex coming in real hot. We will also see Star coming in as well for, not for Geography, but to replace Geography in the DPS realm. And then we will have Quake and Pressure continuing to be the support. So the introduction of Starsfield to the roster tonight. I'm kind of excited about that. I love a little, little fresh, fresh moves. Cool. And we will check for the ready now. We're going into map three. Um, this seems like a five mapper. I think so. I kind of you feel know, it. And, and again, a, a lot of history between both these teams. You know, the asterisk of the first game. Surge wants that first win. Rebel wants to show that they earned that the the pass win. I know, because what do we have after this? We have Ekenwald, which is, you know, a map definitely everybody wants to get to if they can. No screams about that but then after that it's busan and that's kind of a tricky map for some players especially because there's so much just high and low space to kind of get into and crawl into it's kind of a difficult map to wrestle with yeah plus the thing with busan a lot of boot potential there you know two two of those three maps lots of boop opportunities nothing quite like getting hit by a train while trying to heal your team. It hasn't happened to me though. I don't know who that happens to, but not me. Probably. Cool, it seems like we are ready over on the Surge Imperium side. So we're just waiting for our Rebel Raptors to give us the okay, and then we will be rolling it. New blood in our midst. Oh, he said ready. I thought that was them. Okay, Surge for sure ready. Like, verified, signed, sealed, and delivered ready. We're just waiting on Rebel Raptors to give us the okay. Oh, they said they're ready. I don't know how to read. Reading comprehension. Also my Achilles heel. Um, I promise everybody I did go to college. Um... But then I graduated, and then I threw my brain into the garbage. I, too, went to college. That's all I'll say about that. Stay in school, kids. Unless you don't want to. It's your life. We can't tell you what to do. I'll be honest. College is a scam. Don't do it. <sighs> Listen. I kind of agree. But I still had fun. <laughs> Oh, 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 there was fun. Definitely fun. Oh, Engineer Boy is breaking out an Ash, but Jester bringing out that Fara you had mentioned. But like I said, also, Engineer Boy is the hit scan. 
Listen, so we might not get this far for too long. So let's take a look at Gesture rolling out here on map three. Dorado for Rebel. Um, oh, they got the cute spray. I love it. Oh, we have an underground Fara. We're starting low to kind of get that jump on them from the back. Smart choice. Don't give it all away at once. Right, like a smart choice, and it's just like it's my such my it's such my pet peeve, because I'm just one of those just get on the payload. I am too like that, but we do see Rebel Raptors taking huge casualties here. Yeah, see, see, get, just get on the payload. Let's put your foot, put your hand on the lid of the jar, the lid. The lid. The lid. Lid. The lid. 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 <laughs> but we do see Gesture swap off that far, opting for their own Ash as well, hopefully to contend with Engineer Boy. They're spending some time together, and Gesture gets those shots in on both Engineer and wow. Pressure. Yeah, that's a quick one, too. You know, we, we called him a Junkrat expert. I guess we gotta take that back. Might just be DPS expert. Honestly, he took that fool me once, shame on me, and turned that around to I'll see y'all outside in the parking lot. On pressure and engineer really quick. No pocket. That's a scary opponent. Yeah, just absolutely cruising this payload. And again, you know, it makes you wonder. It's just like, maybe they thought they were just getting too cute with that underground strat. <laughs> Yeah, they kind of take that like unopposed, right? They have like kind of maybe one or two fights, but like you said, they were just smoothly guiding in, like no issues. But uh, Thimbo does get the people's elbow from Starsfield on the Junkrat with the assist from Ana and Sigma. But I'm a little afraid they gesture does come around on the side. He's taking a nap at the moment. Does he does get a couple shots off? And I think we need to kind of take a look at what's going on with Phoenix right now, who is cooking at the moment at a hundred charge. Oh, the tire hurts. Bob is here as well. Rainbow Shark does a little bit of moving of Bob and unfortunately gets taken out by those free rain of bullets and aim assist. <laughs> <laughs> And then when Rebel coming in with a huge old advantage here, two, a, a grab and a nano. Yeah, I'm kind and of hoping got, if Surge has got nothing. I'm kind of hoping if they pull that grab, they're gonna just kind of just give that nano to Ryan, just give him that free swing space. He's about halfway to another shouter, but that'll if that could definitely finish building. And I spoke too soon. It is Phoenix instead with that huge nano. Oh, and denied by Lulu. Again, at the brightness of Phoenix, I imagine if we check kind of where they are right now in terms of charge, Phoenix is probably just on fire. At 100 charge as well, just max charge. They are just feeding into these bubbles. They are able to maintain... like. Phoenix died a little while back from that tire, fully resetting the charge, but he is cooking right now. now see what I can do. And, and again, it's like you mentioned earlier, it's just a, a nice, slow, methodical push, really not facing too much opposition. Now here comes a tough one where Surge is going to have a real good spawn advantage. Lights out. Ooh, and Thimbo taking a nap. Do 
Ooh, a decent sh size shatter going out. They're going to continue to kind of get this corner a little comfortably. Um, only Mercy and Ash are left to contest for time. Just Ash now. Oh, excuse me. Mercy and Lulu does go down. Ash is back up, but just inside of that Mayfield. It's going to have to get back just to buy some time. Ooh, and that's a huge kill on Stars there. Ooh, has now. It's like, ooh, Jarbot with the lift. No. <gasps> All right. Rebel Raptors pushing it in with just 2 minutes and 29 seconds on the clock. Plenty of time. Yeah, their momentum on that, they were just kind of like steady, steady, steady. I don't think there was like at any point like a full like pushback coming out of Surge, I would say. Enough to like slow them down to eat at that clock where they have to work in overtime, you know? So that was it's pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, again, you know, after that first failed attempt at going underground really just solid movement. I don't think the payload ever stopped for more than maybe a couple of seconds. In oh, we do get an interesting introduction to the field. Quake Sire picking up a Zen. I love a little extra damage. Sprinkle it on. Ooh, Darksfield does get one top right. It is Rainbow Shark on the junk wrap. We're gonna have a little bit of circling around as he goes for Queen. That's two. Minus one. <laughs> we have Queenie back on the field. pressure going on especially underneath this tight spot you know how hard it is to move from under here because it's just a it's just little enough to kind of get bounced around in coming out of here as well. Ooh, directly for Quakesire on the Zen. Yeah, never a bad thing to take up a support play with an ult. Obviously, as much as I hate getting solo ulted, I, I get it. Yeah, I feel like it's like a, like, alright. Like, I, I, I want this because it works, but also, you're a bad person. <laughs> couple of things going on. So Surge, pretty stacked on those ultimates, but also followed really closely by Rebel Raptor. Is going to be able to make a lot of choices. And it's high noon, y'all. Taking out two people. It is 12.01. And pressure as well goes down to gesture. Alright, and there's only about a minute left on the clock. 
I do think that Surge is going to have to make some kind of big decisions about how they want this to look. Engineer looking really good with that visor, formidable opponent. I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of lead with that. That's going to be their big play. Yeah, I, I can see that. Or you, I was going to say lead with the shatter to the Engineer, but... Ooh, a lot of fighting Five going on in this back all room. Over it. Oh, C9 back cap. I kind of love that! Being done by Hanzo, they do end up catching him just for giving him the eye. Ooh, Engineer coming from the bottom with that visor. D's D.Va eating it up. Just running him over. I think they're just gonna have to go for a brawl on the point here. This is how they're gonna have to push this. Rainbow Shark also with this tire getting set up in a safe corner, checking his surroundings. I think he's about to let it rip. Yeah, here it comes. <gasps> oh, oh almost makes it. That would have been a decent 3k right there if he was able to pull that off. Gesture making some space with that high noon once again. Rebel takes map number three. The 2 1 lead. Play of the game. Ooh! Let's see these plays. These high noons were really coming in hot from gesture. Uh... Ooh, and a and a and a flush. I got it, y'all. <laughs> it's up here. 36 elims in 10 minutes just absolute madness all right we are moving on to map four which will be ekin while this is also Match point. Do you want to give them the score and the lowdown and the hoedown? Yep, definitely. So, for those of you who are just tuning in or you've been watching, Rebel Raptors just took Dorado, giving them a 2 1 lead going into map number four. So, it is match point for the Raptors. Surge has got their backs against the wall. They've been in this situation before, you know, as they're switching sides and. It really, it, it's gonna, it's gonna be the same old spiel. It's like you've got to forget about it. Short-term memory loss. It's a brand new map. It's zero zero. You don't worry about the overall score. You worry about what's ahead of you, task ahead of you right now. Map number four is all they need to be concerned about. Because then again, as we mentioned, starting off the stream, Surge is still newest team to the league, sitting at 0-5 and one, still searching for that illustrious victory. And it's going to have to start with a W at Eichenwald in order to achieve that. Oh, we do have a swap coming out of Surge, I believe. Yes, we have Pressure taking some time from working on the, very hard on the support line. We are bringing in Luna's Toe Bean. The best cat in Sailor Moon, by the way. Artemis is pretty alright. Cool. We do have that coming in. As you mentioned, Mercy player. I love some. I love a good Mercy. So I'm looking forward to it. Actually, I'm hoping that we saw kind of. Um, oh, it was Jester playing Farah. I would still love to see some Farah out of Starsfield or Engineer Boy. I know that. I know that they enjoy like their, um, you know, what we saw, which is Junkrat and uh, Soldier mostly. But I would love some Arrow stuff. Bring that Echo back out. Who was that?
and I just confused myself because why is Rebel Raptor still named Surge? I don't know. There's a ghost in here. <laughs> Yeah, I was like looking. I was like, Rainbow Shark is not on, right? <laughs> Ooh, okay. And no changes coming out of Rebel Rafters. They are ready to go here on map four. At Kenwald, we have Rebel Raptors in the lead with two in hand. Right now, they took Blizzard World and Dorado. Surge Imperium took map one, which was Li Zhang Tower. Uh, so we could see this as the end if Rebel Raptors ends up taking this map. They will be taking away three. But if Surge Imperium is able to get back out here and on the board for Eckenwald, we will be moving on to map 5, which will be the tiebreaker, and map 5 is Busan. Oh, and Surge does have some changes, so Sharbot and Quake who is rotating around quite a bit, will be moving to tank. Lulu and Engineer will be the DPS for this round. And then we have Star and Luna on support. So Star moving from DPS to support. Everybody kind of like moves one. So we had a swap at every level here for tank, DPS, and support for Surge. I like these these changes they be making because now I'm like, what are y'all planning? It's gotta be something good. Honestly, I think for this map, I would love to see some Torbjorn. I know I always ask for that Symmetra because I kind of love like the because it scratches the good part of my brain, but I'll take a Torbjorn. Ready. Yeah, I mean, especially on the, on this first point, and actually really kind of all over the map, there, there's a lot of good places to set the turret. As I've mentioned, it, it's an extra member on the team. And I'm, I think I'm with you. It might serve a little better than the Symmetra because you're not as limited in terms of location. Right, you'll put that, you can put that turret anywhere and it'll shoot as long as it's something, you know, it can see something. It doesn't have to be manned, which is great. Um, and it's a little bit healthier than three individual. Um, turrets, but you know, I think I'm gonna get what I want. Engineer Boy bringing out the attack torb. That is definitely a new one. Haven't seen that much. Which, you know, and, and just to date myself in terms of Overwatch, remember the defense category? When Sim had the like shield generator? Oh. Alright, Engineer Boy does get Rainbow Shark, but Rainbow Shark is back on the field, but that, you know, pick is gonna buy them some time to kind of push here and just kind of get in their face. Yeah, you know, especially with the, with the reses, Hex Boy has absolutely been on it. They are about even here, trading an eye for an eye, but Luna Tobin gets that eye back. Yeah, and then we just have Quake Sire just free swinging here. Scary stuff. Quick hammer by Thimbo there, but nothing doing. And Surge gonna take a really nice, really nice cap. Very quick. Five minutes on the clock. Plenty of time they do have over on Surge. They're gonna have both support ultimates. Basically, everybody's very close. Sharbot still working on that first grab, but really not that far behind. They're going to be pretty stacked for, like, the most critical fights happen along this stretch of the map. Yeah. And 
now Surge and nearly at team wide ults just ready at the go. Torb ult from the top ropes. And if I think this is the way this is gonna go, they're gonna probably regroup, wait for their run, they're gonna have a brawl right here in front of this door in between the point, just closing off these four walls, making it tight to get in and out of. It's gonna be quite the push here. Hexboy still buying some time on that Val, going for that res, it's completed, but I'm a little afraid for Queenie on the point as Moira, not going to be able to buy too much time. But would you see Jester back on that Cassidy choice? And another pretty quick cap for Surge. You know, faced a little more opposition there than the last point, but going towards the last towards the last section with four minutes on the clock is a very strong time. Yeah, I'm taking a peek at Surge again, and like their ultimates, they're building them. We got double grabs coming out. And Surge just moving it. They are three. They've been three speeding this cart the entire time, making sure it moves fast as hell. And they're probably going to get this uncontested. Four minutes and three seconds is a strong time. That's forever in Overwatch Absolute time. Absolute pressure. Absolute pure pressure. Like four minutes in Overwatch time is enough to raise a family. Um bake a cake, and enjoy the rest of your life. So, I'm a little... Hmm. I'm feeling the surge now. Uh, uh. Oh, hey, you know, surging along. All right, I'll see myself out. <laughs> hey, I mean, you know, you you said it earlier in the stream. We we've seen epic comeback, so you know, Surge has got things back in their head. We just did that to them. They could easily do the same back to us. I know we have our differences. And I'm getting my cheese pick. Engineer boy breaking out the bastion once again. I want nothing to do with it. I can hear Rondo frowning right now. <laughs> it's so loud. Uh, just because, like, in this case, <laughs> you're not in desperate. You never know. Like, you're not even in desperation mode. You, you, you have four minutes on the clock. That, that's a pressure enough. So I'm sending you, you a message. <laughs> Like, I like, I get it if you only got like a tick on the front on, and didn't get to the payload, but come on. Man. They are gonna TP though. We do have Rainbow Shark giving them some left access. <gasps> Queenie does get crunched by the charge on Ryan. Unfortunately, Quakesire just swinging about Hexboy on the point. They're doing some work here. You know, Thimbo just absolutely rushes the Bastion. And re really, I mean, I obviously I already hate the Bastion, but they, they've sold out to counter you with the, with the Reaper and the Diva. You're going to have to try something else anyway. Yeah, a lot of just um, Defense Matrix just eating some of those bullets while we have Gesture just working on the back end. And they're going to get this even without their Rhine there. They kind of held it together really solidly. Not Rhine. Look, look at oh, that. Brain. Now you done poke the bear. And now they have they have capped the first point at, on a similar pace as you have now. 
Okay, Jester scared me a little bit. He dropped into their back lines for a hot second, was able to get out thanks to Wraith. Um, but, you know, it's always a little like. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I think it was done on purpose because of that. He's got it all. Ooh. Mm. Well, gets the mercy. That, that can still, That's a nice trade. Yeah, they have no res right now. If they really wanted to push them very hard, they could just because Mora eventually is going to run out of healing. Nothing doing on that needle bomb. Yeah, both Moira ult except uh, Quakesire takes out Hexboy with a solo shatter, saying no you. And they're gonna have to go for a full reset. But Rainbow Shark on the Symmetra, they do have wall. They can use that to their advantage to kind of dance around and use some extra space on the point they're able to cut it however they like. Teleporter online. I think that's what we're going to get. We see Rainbow Shark up on the high ground ready to kind of throw that wall at making some decisions about what it should look like. Here we go, how about everyone just pushes in all, it's all party. Rainbow Shark does get that, p eats that pin, unfortunately. And then we do have Quake kind of getting bullied by Thimbo and Hexboy in the back after that pin was successful. So they're gonna have to push them back a little bit. Let's see, here's my pet peeve. Why were you not on the payload? You know, from teams that I've played on, and personally coach, range support is supposed to be on there at all times, just because they have the distance to reach. Absolutely agree. But Rebel Raptor's gonna have to come out here one more time. About two-ish and 30 minutes on the clock here. Gonna have to make some choices if they want to add to that, you know, similar time bank that Surge had when they ran it, you know, back the first time. So they're gonna have to kind of get it together. Yeah, and I see, I got some flashbacks to Legion and Tower there. It, it, it's an absolute waste of a fight if you don't, op if you don't capitalize on it. You know, it, after the old battle, they won the fight slightly. Obviously, obviously wasn't a team kill, but took the advantage. But by nobody being on the payload, it's essentially still in the same position. Now you've still got to get it up this wall and around the corner. And the clock is not your friend right now. Right, like a whole, you know, other fight, uh, you know, for the same, you know, situation. It's a little stressful, but we do have this bomb going on. Thimbo trying to scare Quake Siren, breaks that shield. You know, and, and that's something that, that's the thing we mentioned earlier. It's like. Just because you don't get a kill to Diva Bomb doesn't make it a waste. It, it can be used as an extra life, it can be used to create space. You know, and, and obviously that was the idea there. Yeah, like she was right in his face. So that, like, and she saw that he, the shield wasn't breaking as fast, so she knows she's, she's pressing him and pressing him, and he's backing up. The shield is breaking, she drops it, the shield fully breaks. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good kill by Lulu there. Anytime you can take a support person out. And especially, you know, with a, with a minute and counting, you, you've got to get there. Because let us not forget, if you, if they were pushed to overtime, the only the best they can push for is a tie. Very good bunker down here by Surge, you know, and, and this is this is the event of going first and setting the bar Because obviously Surge, you know, again with, the, with four minutes three seconds a very strong time 
they they can sit back and be a little more relaxed. You know, they can understand that they can lose a fight and it not be the end of the world because, again, Rebel has to, the clock is not Rebel's friend right now at all. Let's go! Search coming in hot! Getting their second map tonight! Here's your wish. Map 5. I kind of I love the struggle, but I really love Engineer Boy on this Torb. Attack and defense Torb? I can I can get behind that. I'm a little scared about you know attack tour, but he really did it once again. A flush, guys. A flush. Word of the day. It's like Sesame Street. Like <laughs> the letter of the day is F, y'all. But all right, so they're pretty evenly matched like I'm never like oh like here comes Surge or here comes Rebel they're like equally pushing it to the limits like every time coming in really strong on each other I don't I don't know what I think we're going to control which is like a little bit of a different situation but I mean we had control for Li Zhang, which was really in, you know, Surge's favor. They knew how to like kind of get behind those corners and like stick it, but I don't know. Yeah, you know, it's tough and really I I think we mentioned it earlier in the stream. It's essentially a polar opposite of the last game we streamed. Because the last game we cast it was a battle of first place. Really, this one is got this one is a battle to get out of last place, because the loser of this match will fall into seventh. Speaking of like last map, you know, interest surge, almost right away, no swaps. They're ready for this last map. So now I'm scared. <laughs> and again, this go where you go to my favorite saying: if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clutch the last win for you. you that, that's your six. You you expect them to bring home the W. Rebel Raptors, however, is deciding to make some swaps to their lineup. Phoenix and Gesture once again switching places. Gesture coming back in on the tank. Phoenix also moving to DPS. I think they have something up their sleeve. Okay. Because we watched He's Gesture play that Winston. Now. He's got to do it now. Hog is not a tank. He's just a fat DPS. Both teams are ready, so I don't think we need to wait any longer. Honestly, there's environmental space here. I would love to see Gesture choose that Hog option. Alright, let's see if... Let's see if they're listening. I'm gonna use my third eye. Ready for battle. Monkey! Maybe, maybe gestures like, there's no environmental space for me on this version of Busan. But maybe we'll get it, if we're lucky to get um, City Center, uh, whatever they call their middle one. My brain is, I can't remember actually. I, I think it actually might be called City Center. Downtown. Hmm. But Rainbow Shark pulling out that Symmetra and Lulu as well. Oh, both similar, same exact DPS lines. Both teams have a Mercy, but one has an Ana, one gets a Moira. And then Rhines for everybody all around, but we do have a Winston Choice and Zarya coming in two for Surge. Ooh, Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, no. Early pick on Lulu. Everyone heal up. 
Ryan Rebel takes early possession of the control. And you know, Surge is still here, kind of able to keep sustaining themselves. Jester getting into a little bit of a scuffle with Engineer uh, is not winning. He's going to have to leave. Simbo back on the point. Blocks that Shatter. Has a Shatter of their own. Let's see if they are able to kind of rip that out instead. Yes, and it lands full hit. Alright, Rebel about half halfway there. Halfway there, sitting on four ults. Pretty strong position. The Surge on the other hand, they've got one, well, I'll say two. Grab could probably get there. But now it's just a question, who's pushing? Okay, there's my answer. Yeah, coming in hot, Engineer Boy with- Oh, both- both soldiers ripping Visor. Oh, and- and- oh, well, Engineer got two, but now Phoenix gets two. Bad. Three, make that three. Yeah, we do see Surge come and take point, just coming in with those- that Visor just making it very clear who is and who is not supposed to be there. Uh, they do get grabbed to the point, however, Rebel. And it seems like Rebel's gonna be able to take this back. Well, uh, maybe not. Okay, now they got it. I'm like holding my breath, cause I'm like, okay, like one more, one more, then I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> oh, Surge here, looking down at 85%. But Tyre and Valkyrie could easily swing the momentum. You have Gesture coming into their backline, scrambling them, just distracting them from their original route. Rainbow Shark gets Lulu as well. Well, they're gonna make contact, so they'll at least force overtime. Thimbo does have another Shatter to kind of let rip here, and it does full team. Ooh, taken Ooh, out with that two. tire. Big fight for Surge here. You gotta win this one. We do see Phoenix, Queenie, and Hex kind of hanging on their side of the drum here. Gesture able to pull that Winston ultimate as well. Uh, giving them the point, securing it. I'm trying to... I'm trying to see if I feel like Rebel Raptors is going to continue like this pace that they're on. Because Surge is, they're having these long fights, right? But what's happening is that they're not focusing the supports for Rebel. So they're able to just sustain. Like if you looked, Hex and Queenie were always behind someone. And then what Surge was doing was focusing on that very first person in front of them instead of the supports keeping them alive. Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's well said because, and you know, we, we've seen it on the other maps of where they might necessarily, they might win a fight, but they're not capitalized on it. I mean, we've seen it from both teams, but definitely Surge was the, were the offenders of that on this previous map. <laughs> Bastion! <laughs> Thank uh, you, see, Phoenix. I don't, no, see, <laughs> that, it's clearly, it's karma. It, it's, it, no, like, you don't they did it to you and you made them pay don't don't do that look see you at karma yeah we have lulu causing a bit of trouble up here especially for phoenix on that bastion but they're gonna get point surge capping first point engineer was down there when the clock went off able to get that cap for them and now they're gonna be able to head to the high ground and contest we have some sneaky res hex boy pulling one again. Quakesire did go for that pin, but did not fortunately get it, and instead gets fire strike to the neck from Thimbo. 
this has nothing to do with the game, but I'm absolutely salty that you can't get that Lego skin anymore. And you, there's only one time to get it. Uh, you know, it's how I feel about like that Mercy Army skin where she has the black hair. It's the only Mercy skin I don't have. Speaking of Bastion, leads to a clean wipe, easy sweep of the point. Hex boys really out here playing the mercy of my dreams. Like I love when I tell you I thrive off of a risky res, and Hex boy all night has just been going for those. Like just as a team fight is ending, in the middle of a team fight, like just going for it and pulling them off fully and able to get back out like great play and then we oh jester's on the roadhog you know finally my detective work gets proven correct no ronda's As like i checked those stats three hours ago <laughs> you know and as we're distracted the surge retakes the point Easily. Feel the healing beat. Yeah, good look on Stars Field getting uh you know Quake Sire out of there quickly, turning on the speed and backing them up. Just here to have another full fight on the point. Gotta agree, any good Lucio knows that you've got to switch back and forth between the speed and the heels. Yeah, especially kind of getting bounced around in that open space, like getting them out is so you can continue to have these fights is like the most crucial thing you can do as Lucio. Speeding them in and speeding them out, good choices being made. And it's bunker down time for Rebel, you've got three ults, you've got to use them. Surge is bouncing gesture away from the point. He's gonna have to go up top, but Lulu does have tire. Yeah, here comes all but a hammer. Ooh, this is gonna be a little bit of a tight one. We do have Surge on the high high ground as well. Engineer boy starting that visor from the top ropes. Oh my goodness. And okay. Let's bring the drama. <laughs> it's it took map five, and it's gonna take the third round on the last map. So now Rondo's in charge because I gotta go find my inhaler. Um. <laughs> I get a little nervous now because this particular point now they have environmental space. If they chase anybody around that and they even miss a step. And that train comes by, it's curtains. There's nothing else to be done. Oh yeah, you know, the, the stage is set now. This is pure Hollywood. Alright, no Lucio for Rebel Raptors. Starfield is on the Lucio, however, for Surge. They're probably going to get to point first. They are taking left side, right side for us. Uh, and they're already there, ready to have a full fight on the point. Oh, and even with the loss of Quake Sire, this, like, you know, Charba on this Zarya just as deadly. Lulu also taking out Queenie on the Ana. This, this might flip in search. Surge's favor. You know, and ju just write it in pen. Hex boy, another res. I love it. Surge. Early lead. And Lulu, as it was mentioned in the comments by Gloomy, Lulu has been getting tired pretty fast, and we're only maybe a minute in. Lulu already online with the tire. Let's just launch it, cause why not? Denied. Does get eaten. But, uh, you know what? I love the enthusiasm! I can kinda get behind that. Lulu 
Luna pulling out that coalescence unfortunately gets denied by Thimbo in the shatter. Oh, but I like this stall by Lulu there. You gotta, you gotta put hold as long as you can. And, and of course, Hexboy, not the rest. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> yeah, in a, in a, not in a safe you. environment for once. <laughs> But I'm really happy to see Phoenix out on this Echo, just kind of providing some of that aerial interest that I really was hoping for that we got tonight out of Gesture, who played Farah. Um, and then somebody else did play Echo, but I cannot remember who it was. So, you know, I'm I'm loving, like, a good aerial time. Yeah, but I mean, with the Engineer on the Soldier, a little risky, and he's got old now. <gasps> and oh! We have Rainbow Shark out here with the triple just from that top part of the bridge as they pushed underneath was able to get that free and safely and then they're, they're going to probably make it about halfway and they're probably going to have another big fight right here but these last maybe two to three fights is going to determine who claims this point. Yeah, you know, what a moment as a captain to really just step up right there. Starfield all the way from the stratosphere with that beat drop. And Echo choosing to copy the Reinhardt here. Nothing like a third tank to really just humble yourself. <laughs> and Surge just... This is final push time here. You know, deep bold DPS with their old. And here we go, because 90%, it's now or never. Somebody's gonna have to run on Engineer Boy, leading oh. that charge right there. Gets bubbled, but her needs to hurry up. There has to be a touch. We do see Quake Sire on there, not right, able to overtime. sustain. It's now or never, Surge. You, if you want that win, you've got to earn it right here. I don't know, it's looking, we do see Lulu and Luna's toe beans here putting in the work. Rainbow Shark and Queenie are gone, Thimbo gone, Hexboy gone. The okay, they've got the cap, they maybe got the cap. And they're bringing it back. 53% versus 99% in ticking. You could have not scripted this. I'm gonna have to like hold my breath. Surge <laughs> can smell how close that win is. All right, we're at 70%. But Rebel Raptors coming in absolutely stacked with Shatter, Bomb, and Tire Nano just on the horizon. They're yeah, gonna be able to Starf just dump them. Starfield is close to the beat. If he can get that, that'll be huge on the defensively. Hexboy, oh, wanted that res so badly, it did not work out. Gesture does get two. Beat drop from in the trap. There's the beat. Ooh. Ooh. But Engineer coming in real quick on that Lulu as well. Oh my gosh, the solo shit. <laughs> and it's 99 overtime. We have Quicksire on the ball. Oh no, goes down. Charbot on the point, followed by Starfield on the Lucio. No strategy, just get in there. Everybody leaning forward in their chairs right now. <laughs> Woo! A rebel holds it off. I'm speechless, really. I was holding wow. my breath at the end right there. And again, we said we we mentioned it obviously earlier. As a captain, you've got to step up when it's crunch time, and the triple kill right here from Rainbow, absolute huge momentum killer. Rainbow Shark, do 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 do. Rainbow Shark, do 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 do. Nobody, just me. Okay. Epic. Excellent. Huge, huge plays. What, what, do, what do you think about that? That was, I got what I wanted. I got a map five, so I'm, I'm yeah. satisfied. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Like that, it was, 
incredible match to cast, obviously. You know, if you were watching, you would have no idea that those were the again, that that was the bottom of the standings going at it. It it took five maps, it took to the last point, both teams at ninety nine, a long extended overtime battle. But unfortunately, Surge will have to wait yet another week to get that illustrious W. Rebel Raptors take the match, the map, the win, and the set. 3-2 over Surge Imperium. So keeping the results of the past match, but of the remake of Week 4, Surge does pick up another point, taking two maps this time. Rebel's going to improve to a record of 2-4-1. and one. Surge, unfortunately, is going to fall to 0-6-1. and one. But, you know, a- absolutely great match between both teams. You know, definitely nothing to hang your head over. Both teams put gave it their all, left it all out there. And, again, you, you say kudos and great job to Rebel. And as for Surge, you just got to say keep your head up. Yeah, like, you know, when it comes to, like, map fives like this, and they go through every map in map five, you know they are, like, leaning forward, headset is on to max volume, they want it real bad, and as we saw those fights, Charbot and Starfield running in there to just kind of get back on there and hopefully buy some time, but Rebel Raptors just coming in hot, swinging, that was an all-out, so everybody did a great job, I really just loved casting this i i want to go for mvps now so i'm gonna i'm gonna go one by one so each team at a time so i'm gonna start with rebel raptors our winners tonight personally i'm gonna have to have hex boy in my corner i love a, a risky mercy res and i also really loved seeing gestures just flexibility going in as well as rainbow shark like those junk tires were something serious uh, I can't even choose between the three of them because they're absolutely insane. But what about yourself? Yeah, so if we're sticking with Rebel, I I think I'd, I've got to go with Jester. You know, we, there, there was not one name. Probably probably said his name the most on this stream. He absolutely popped off of your screen. You know, you said the kills, the versatility, going back from tank in between and DPS. Really didn't want to ever play a bad character. You know, you, you mentioned Hexboy, and also, let, let's give it up for Rainbow, the captain, you know, I mean, it, it was one play, but it was an absolutely huge play, that triple kill tire with Junk on the last map, really kind of just stopping Surge's momentum, huge for the win, so, that's that'll be my picks. Absolutely, I can't, I can't, I have to have all three of them, I don't think I should have to, we should have to choose, we should be definitely allowed to have all of them but as for surge engineer boy impressive impressive dps work and then i really love the introduction of stars field to their team that lucio was dynamic and intensive intuitive and just working overtime for them so those are the two for me Yeah, for, for Surge, I, I've got to give it up to Luna. Obviously, I, I mentioned that, that that's the Mercy Ace and the whole, you know, she she came in and, again, just a pure job of a support character. Keep your team up and help guide them through fights. And I've, I've got to give the stars as well. Main, uh, bounced around. What stood out to me was the, was the Lucio play. You know, had a few great boops, especially on, on Li Zhang Tower. And, again, as a support, it's about momentum, keeping your team up, keeping mobility. So for Surge, it's the support unit. Honestly, I have to agree. An intelligent support is how a team survives. That's the core of their movement and basis. And while Tank leads the team, the support is really the blood of the team. So great job for Starsfield and Luna. We loved your gameplay. And that's kind of it. So Rebel Raptors walking out of here with a win tonight against Surge Imperium. This was tier two, a season, not a season, a week four reschedule, rematch. Awesome, making some great choices. Anything else before I take us out, Rondo? No, I mean, I think it's all been said. It's all been seen. We've got nothing else left to say. Well, y'all saw it here first. I am Light, joined by... Super Rondo. 
the best Lucio NA. This was the International Overwatch League Miners. This was Rebel Raptors versus Surge Imperium. Rebel Raptors wrapping it up. And that's the last joke I'll make tonight, probably. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys at the next one. Good night.